Hey y'all, good afternoon. It's a Thursday. Yeah. And uh, listen, I just wanted to show some people some of the foods that I've been eating. And uh, I'm not spending any more money on my food budget than most anybody else would, okay? I'm uh, single, retired, and I basically cook for me and my health, okay? And, uh, you know, there's a lot of older folks like me out there that um, have health concerns. Well, I've, I've gained some health victory over, I'm no longer diabetic, because I cut pretty much sugar out of my diet, and I've lost, uh, I've lost about, well, close to about 100 pounds in the last uh, three years and um, you know I mean it's not like a significant thing but I think I did it the right way you know about maybe a half a pound to a pound a week you know and there was a year that I stayed the same you know I go up and down up and down so anyways I just wanted to share this is the box this is typical of a box usually it's bigger this this was this was a two-box shipment, and this was a smaller box I got, right? But I just want to share some things that uh, I, I got, okay? This is called uh, carob powder. Now, there's no sugar or dairy in this. It's dairy-free, and it's vegan, okay? What I do with this is you, you, can, you can make brownies or anything with this, is, okay? And um, see, it shows a cake, a piece of cake, right, chocolate cake. But what I do is I'll add a tablespoon or two of this to my coffee grounds when I brew coffee, and it gives, you know, it gives the coffee a different flavor, okay? There you go. And, um, okay, uh, this is the, this, I didn't open this bottle yet, but this is uh, Lucini. This is 100% Italian, uh, high-altitude um uh, olive oil okay it's organic and uh anyways this is extra virgin this is like hand picked the best okay it's, it has a low acidity and uh anyways i i tried a bottle i got a bigger bottle of this but the bigger bottle wasn't available so i got the smaller bottle but anyways this is very good olive oil okay it's excellent for putting on salad you know it's almost like you you're wasting it if you cook with it, but I don't fry food at all. Uh, the most frying I would do is probably simmer chopped onions or vegetables in a little bit of olive oil to saute them, you know, before I add meat or beans to the mix, okay? All right, next. Uh, I just got this in the last shipment. It's uh, Bob's Red Mill Pizza Crust. I've got two of these because uh, each of these bags you can make two pizzas so basically it gives you uh, a yeast packet in here and all you gotta do is add water and an egg a couple eggs for each recipe so I'm gonna be trying it because I don't buy bread but uh, this is gluten-free pizza crust and this was cheap this was like uh, $2.95 a bag so basically, if you can make two pizza crusts with each one of these, so this is like two bags, that's a, that's like a dollar fifty for a pizza crust. Okay, so that's a lot cheaper than a loaf of bread, folks. Anyway, so much for that. And then I got some, I got some uh, garbanzo bean flour and some cornmeal. Okay, this is gluten free, and. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be you can make pancakes with this, okay? A substitute it for regular flour. Alrighty then. Okay, when I have a vegan day, sometimes I don't have any animal protein, so I have beans and then I'll have a protein shake. See this is organic plant protein powder. You put a scoop of this in uh, 16 ounces of water with a scoop of my green superfood powder, mix it up and you get this delicious green like superfood shake very nutritious and it's and each scoop of this is a hundred calories and 15 grams of protein so 
you know, I try, I make sure I get my minimum required protein every day because you need it to build muscle and, you know, your heart, your brain, whatever, okay? A new product, I haven't even opened this yet, but it's called Coconut Aminos. And this was on sale if you order, make, have an order. So I got this for a few dollars off. So I haven't even tried this. This is like a substitute for maybe soy sauce, you know, something you season your food with. So I'm going to try it. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure it's going to be good. Okay, uh, I ran out of this, but instead of getting this flaxseed oil, this is really good, organic. <clears throat> I put a little bit of this in salad. Flaxseed oil is very, very good for you health-wise. And I got something new here. Instead of, uh, since I couldn't get the bigger olive oil, I've got something different. This is called hemp oil. Yeah, hemp. H-E-M-P oil. And this, I tried a little bit of this with some uh, fish. And it has a really different taste. But it's organic. It says organic superfood. This has a wonderful blend of uh, omega-3, omega-6. I, I don't know, I'm not going to put my glass on, but, you know. I read this is very, this is probably less expensive than the uh, Lucini organic olive oil from Italy, okay? So I'm trying that. And if it's, you know, I already kind of like it. I just got to try to you know, put maybe one tablespoon in, in a big pot of food so you get the nutrition. And um, so I cook rice. <clears throat> I cook rice a lot. So I'll add oil and some sea salt to my rice along with the filtered water okay okay here's a product uh, uh, it's organic spaghetti this does have wheat this is 100% whole wheat spaghetti but it's organic I ordered this a few weeks ago I actually I've only done a couple of the pasta things okay um, I do like grits and this is organic grits Bob's Red Mill this is really hard to find. I used to go to a, a grassroots market in Jacksonville on, um, what street is that? I can't even remember the street, Park Street. And, uh, you know, and it was, this was not there a lot, you know, so like, but at Thrive Market, they got it, you know? I mean, so you order it, it comes in the box, just what was like everything else, okay? Okay. Um, I like gluten-free pasta, and I've purchased this before. This is called Tinkyada, and it's like brown rice pasta. And this is uh, the um, spirals, okay? And this is a one pound. This is really good too, folks, because you know you can you can just toss this in, put bring the water to a boil, toss this in, and let it boil for two minutes. Then you shut the fire off and cover it and then 20 minutes later it's done you just you know pour out the lip strain it and it's done you don't have to continuously stir and all that stuff so this stuff is cool and i also got the same thing but this is penne p-e-n-n-e -E. and that's this is a one pound package so this this stuff goes for three or four three fifty four dollars but that's what this is what you would pay at uh, a market in town, Whole Foods or someplace like that. Right? Okay, I already tried this. This is an 8-ounce um, thing. This is spelt. Spelt spaghetti. And what's good about this is uh, it's organic and it has Vita spelt in it. But you know what? You only have to boil this 2 to 4 minutes. It's really quick. It's almost like angel hair, too. And it's quick, you know, you just drop this. I usually just, when I do spaghetti, I usually break it in half and throw it, drop it in. But this cooks really fast. Most other pastas, it's like 7 to 9, 10 minutes, 11 minutes, depending on the pasta. Well, this is quick, 2 minutes. Then you, uh, you know, and then you just dump the liquid out through a colander, put it on your plate, and, you know, mix it with your sauce, whatever sauce you want. Okay, uh, this is a brand that you can get at the health food store. It's a company out of California called Lund, Lundberg, 
Anyways, I got a one pound bag of Arborio rice. This was kind of expensive, but anyways. And then I got this uh, wild blend rice. See, it's got dark rice and different colors of rice in here. So, you know, just, just for variation. And what else do I got in here? Oh, yeah, hey. I didn't try this yet, but this is Italian pasta, okay? And this stuff is called Or Orecciet, and it's uh, produced at Monastero de Mon Montebello in um, some place in Italy, okay? So I'm looking forward to trying this, and this is a uh, one-pound package. I don't know what this one. This one, you know, it's expensive, three, four bucks. But you know what, folks? You, you're gonna. What are you saving if you don't buy this and you buy the cheap spaghetti, right? You're saving two bucks. That's that's a beer. You know, you got to look at it like, well, gee, what would I pay for a beer in a bar? And it's sometimes it's more than what this whole. Thing is, okay, so you gotta that's the way Francis thinks. Okay, and now we get to the animal protein. Okay, um, they have this brand, it's called Safe Catch. Okay, and this is uh, this fish was caught in um, the Pacific Ocean, but I want to read this. Okay, uh, it's, it's dolphin safe, all that stuff. And it says here, the only brand to test every fish, 10 times stricter than the FDA mercury limit, hand-packed to retain omega-3 oils, no pre-cooked processing of our tuna, responsibly caught, amazing taste, BPA-free, no GMOs, okay? No additives, no need to drain. So you know what I do? I open this can, and let's say I have, like, I have a salad, okay? I just dump the can in and mix it up. And then, you, you know, you add the uh, ap apple cider vinegar and a little bit of oil, right, and spices. And you eat it, okay? Or I can just open the can, dump this in the pot with the chopped onions and my spices, garlic, black pepper, turmeric, ginger, uh, ground cloves, whatever. Just a little bit, like, you know, I sprinkle a little bit in there. And, and you make like a fish. Um, soup then you add water and then you throw in some rice and you end up with like a a tuna fish casserole Ooh, to die for and it tastes great folks okay believe me i mean this is what i've been been eating this and it says elite our purest wild tuna okay so this stuff goes for about <clears throat> i think i got seven cans and it was like 21 dollars so it's about three dollars a can 325 something like that but you know what? All the tuna fish now you get in the store, whether it's bumblebee or whatever, you're paying two something a can. So this is like a dollar more a can, you know? And it's the best, okay? So, you know what? It's not like I'm eating a lot of tuna. You know, one day I'll have this instead of beans, and, and I got my protein powder, right? Okay, what did I do with? Oh, and this is something I just tried. I bought, I made this this morning, and this is Bahaba, Bahaba Maine, skinless, uh, boneless smoked sardine fillets. And believe me, this it, this stuff really smells like sardines. But anyways, but no, this is pro. Oh, it says product of Canada too. Well, anyways, this is this is caught off the coast of Maine, and I tried it, and it's six point seven ounces and about forty grams of protein. So, you know, this in a protein shake. There's your protein plus rice has got protein in it too. So, anyways, I make sure I get my sixty-five grams of protein. Just like Jeff T. Rowe recommended. I, I was basically getting at least 50. And there was times when I've been on strict diets, I only got 30 grams of protein a day. So, and I lost weight. But anyway, I think the more you work out, the more exercise you need, you need more protein. So, like, oh, gee, 15 minutes. 
So, folks, uh, oh, and uh, guess what I got with my last one? I got a free box, six um, dark chocolate almond bars. And, oh, my God, these are so good. Dairy-free and sugar-free, and it's got grass-fed collagen in it. And basically, these go for about $3 a pop, and there's 15 grams of protein. But these are awesome. Ingredients, almonds, pumpkin seeds, grass-fed, hydrolyzed collagen, and some kind of root, uh, cassava root, whatever. Water, coconut flakes, honey, natural flavors, coconut oil, bitter chocolate, cocoa powder, cocoa nibs, Himalayan pink salt, monk fruit extract, and toco ferrules. So... You know, there's no dairy in this. This ain't this ain't like milk chocolate, okay? This is dark chocolate. And sorry for leaning over, but these come in a box of six, and I was having a few beers last night in Rosie's Hangout, and oh my God, I had a couple that I was supposed to save for today, tomorrow, and the next day. Anyways, I will be ordering this again. They sell this. This is a six-bar box, but they sell it in a 12-bar box, too. But they don't give these away, you know. I mean, you're going to pay 30 some odd dollars for a box of 12 of these. But it's like a meal replacement, okay? And it's all healthy and good nutrition. So, hey, you know what? I would normally not buy this very rarely because I don't, I don't eat candy. But you know what? They sent this for, to me for free, okay, with an order over $59. So... And I got free shipping. I ordered this stuff Sunday, and then it was shipped out individually wrapped uh, Monday morning. And I was said I said I should get my shipment by tomorrow, Friday, right? Well, guess what? It came yesterday afternoon, two days, and I didn't even have to pay the shipping. Okay, so folks, that's all I'm saying. That's what Francis is eating, and. You know, I buy some of this stuff, and it just goes up in the cupboard, and, you know, I don't eat all these things every day, because I only eat so many, you know, so much protein and oil, and then I, tr I, I figure out what my carbs are going to be for the day, and I only, I'm trying to, I stay in under 1,500 calories a day, and, except for the beer. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I drink black coffee. Oh, and I do, I did buy some uh, non-dairy creamer. It's like an almond coconut milk. And I got it, I got two cartons of that. It's in the refrigerator, so I forgot to get that out. But, but it was really good. I had, I had uh, black coffee this morning, and I added some of that um, cream. So, as you can see, um, I'm eating good. And, uh, you know, I got to kind of fuel my body to work out, and I'm, I'm getting gains. You know, I'm toning my muscles. I'm out there in the sun yesterday, but not today. But, but I might go out and get some sun in the late afternoon. The UV index is very high today. So, But I will be out there exercising early tomorrow morning because it's supposed to get really hot in the 90s tomorrow. And right now it's about 85. It's very pleasant here. So, anyway, so hey. And then it's a really nice box. It comes with a lid. And you can use this to box up stuff in the house, like, you know, all your canned goods and whatever you've got. If you're a prepper and you're stockpiling food, these real, and these boxes are free. And this is a small one, okay? Uh-oh, Debbie Lynn is starting to play a song. I better get out of here, okay? Foo Fighters! Food Fighters. <laughs>